later on, I don't know how much time had passed since I had thrown the hand grenades and gotten on the machine gun, that Lieutenant Brostrom arrived at the OP and, and he popped his head up over the sandbags to the, uh, to the west, right at the edge of that northern position. And it, it kind of startled me because I wasn't expecting him. He and Specialist Hovader had left Vehicle Patrol Base Kaler and made a run to reinforce the OP. They had cut through the bizarre hotel area, um, exposed their, themselves to direct enemy fire. There was no cover. I honestly don't know how they made it. They probably shouldn't have made it. They may have just surprised the enemy that they, take, they took that route. Um, and so they came to reinforce the OP. Lieutenant Brosham asked me what was going on, and I told him where I thought the enemy was to the north, and he disappeared after that, and I never talked to him again. It didn't surprise me, you know, when I later learned that nobody really told him he had to go, that he just went, you know, because he, he loved his soldiers. He loved being with us, and he loved leading, but he also, I think he saw himself as the same as us, that he was just another guy trying to fight too, um, you know, which I think kind of endeared him to the guys. We all loved them.